Hey. Hey. All right, so this is really cool. You guys know that we do gaming setups here on the channel. Some of them incredibly outlandish, like this one. I mean, if you didn't see this video, you... you are you even on the internet? We definitely wanted to do something, a follow-up, a more practical gaming setup based on one of the most popular, the most popular? The most popular gamer uh, on planet Earth right now. Of course, I'm talking about Ninja. We have an official Ninja gaming setup for Fortnite at the optimal settings for the optimal performance and it's courtesy of NZXT. Now they reached out and they told me they have a new site it's called Build. You can configure your own custom PC based on the game that you want to play. Plug in the game to the system along with the desired FPS and it will make suggestions based on what kind of configuration is best for that purpose. Of course, today we took it a little further with the official Ninja NZXT collaboration. So this spec is his spec. You have the Ninja color, the Ninja logo, Ninja spelled out through the glass with his components of choice, including that beautiful GTX 1080 Ti. If you're hoping to replicate his performance, this is the place to start, obviously. Full disclaimer here, you will not immediately become Ninja if you buy the Ninja PC, but who knows? I mean, you'll be a step closer, Well, Who knows what's next? Little practice? Little ABC? Yeah. Little one, two, three? Yeah. Little you know me? Mm-hmm. Little can't you see? Definitely. Little do re me? Okay, we take the window off. So for this particular build, we are looking at the NZXT H700i case. It's got an Intel Core i7 8700K at 3.7 gigahertz. The NZXT Kraken X62 CPU cooler. Of course, it has that GTX 1080 Ti with 11 GBs of RAM. Oh my goodness. 32 gigs of very fancy glowing memory. Look at that stuff. Beautiful. It's also got a one terabyte Samsung 960 Evo M2 SSD. It's got two of those. Some quick storage. Oh yeah. Two four terabyte Seagate Barracuda drives. Now that spec list results in 125 FPS at his favorite settings. Some may say that's a little beyond the scope of what's necessary, but you know with any type of competitive gamer, they want to have a little overkill on the frame rate. Right, Will? You only game at 4,000 FPS. Bare minimum. He only games at a million FPS. And you don't want to know what else he does at a thousand FPS. So I said to Will, I said, figure out what the other components are. Be covert, look around the web because the man is, he went through the old streams, the old, he looked and he found, he uncovered the other components, including Ninja's most recent keyboard of choice, mouse of choice, mouse mat of choice, and gaming monitor of choice. So that's the Logitech G610. Okay. With red Cherry MX. Super soft touch. Okay, moving on to the mouse. I saw that this has those weights in it where you can change yeah. the weight of the mouse. Look at that. The Logitech G502, it seems to be a Logitech family of peripherals when it comes to the keyboard and mouse. An incredible number of buttons that you can configure to get the kills that you're looking for. Mouse mat, it has like a really cool name, right? HyperX Pro. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> it's called the HyperX Fury Pro. And don't forget the monitor. You would think, you would assume your initial reaction would be like, let's get a big monitor in here. A lot of competitive gamers, streamers, and so on, choose a smaller monitor for their gameplay. Yeah, it kind of gives them a tunnel vision and not really experiencing the peripherals. This is a 25 inch Alienware gaming monitor, 240 Hertz. It's got gamer written all over it. It really fits in with a setup like this. Now there are other elements, other things you will see on the desk, but this is the core of how Ninja is getting these victory royales. Pretty much. Right here. Yeah. This is almost a victory royale in and of itself. Exactly, yeah. What we're looking at here is the game settings for Fortnite 
on this system and you have set this up in the same fashion that Ninja would have it. Basically everything is epic except for a few settings here. 240 FPS. For shadows, obviously like to turn them off because if you're in game, you don't want any distractions. That's sort of like the main rule if you want to play like Ninja. So shadows off, anti-aliasing off, and post-processing low by lowering or turning off those different features. The figure that you're trying to shoot individually without a shadow might it might be superior to having it with. Yeah, especially if they're crouched, you don't want to shoot at the shadow, you want to shoot at the person. Crazy. You make this sacrifice between how good it looks and how well it performs. I also noticed he has V-Sync turned off, motion blur turned off, and of course, show FPS turned on so you can watch the FPS in game. So boot it up, let's see what kind of frame rate we get. I mean, this is just the load screen, but you're hovering around 200 FPS right up here. You're actually hitting your cap. Mid game now, you, you're slamming this wall, you're, there's a lot of bits and bytes moving around and you're still well above 200 FPS, so. This is, and you're dead. That illustrates kind of the beauty of this build website. That's the whole point of it. You set the frame rate first, then the components come after. Okay, so this is really cool. Shout out to NZXT for sending over this PC and sponsoring this episode. I think it's a really cool one. As far as I know, this is the closest anyone has ever come to showcasing the secretive ninja setup. We did it. Me and Willie do. I mean, I couldn't have done it without him. He did the research. He's like a detective, this guy. It's really insane. What would yours look like? Pretty much just like this. It's pretty cool. I didn't expect him to say that. Lose my color. You can't buy your way to the top, but you can improve your setup and that might help you get there. Is that true? true. It might help you get there. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Ninja setup on YouTube, Unbox Therapy. It's where it's happening. Willie Do, ladies and gentlemen.